What's up everyone, this is JL Nightmare bringing you a special video for the one year celebration of this channel. So the first video was released on November 4th, 2016 called Damn It Yoshi and a lot has changed since that day because of all of you guys. So I figured I would give you a tour of the area that I record in plus what's behind the green screen. So without further ado, I bring to you the game room. All right, this is what's on the other side of the green screen. This is our movie slash game room. As you can tell, we have a lot of uh, movie and game references in here. Lots of posters, lots of novelties, all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm gonna start the tour on the left side of the room. So over here, we have a lot of PlayStation 3 games on the wall. As you can tell, I'm quite a fan of the Guitar Hero series. I almost have all the games, but I think I'm missing a few of them. Uh, over here, we have a Jurassic World and Spider-Man posters on the back wall and a few more PlayStation 3 games. Uh, most of these I've actually completed 100%. And I don't know if I'm gonna be playing much of them on the channel, but these two right here, Naughty Bear and Lollipop Chainsaw, are the ones that I'm currently playing on the channel. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Over here is the split second car that came with the uh, the pre-order that I got a long time ago. You can't really see it, but it's, it's in there, I promise you. And then here's another pre-order item, the Mortal Kombat bookends. This is Scorpion, I gave him a little hat. I don't know why, I just had a hat lying around. I don't even know where I got it, but it just, it rests on his head. And then on the other side, next to the Tech Deck dudes, we got Sub-Zero being impaled by uh, Scorpion's little, little spear there. And then we got the Mockingjay pin. And a few Sega games. Uh, I did have a few more Sega games, but I did get rid of them. I don't play them as much. They were uh, Mortal Kombat 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Also over here we have PlayStation 2 games and there's kind of a trend here. There's Mortal Kombat, Tony Hawk, and Guitar Hero. That's pretty much the main games I played on PlayStation 2. I do have doubles of Guitar Hero 3, Metallica, Smash Hits, and World Tour. I don't know why I have doubles. I just wanted doubles of them because they were pretty cheap. All right, so up here is the movie collection. Uh, we got a lot of Blu-rays. A lot of DVDs, these are, uh, some of these are mine, some of these are Christina's, but they're all ours now. We got some more over here. Under here we have my Ice Blue Nintendo 64, my Super Nintendo, and an Xbox 360 that does not work anymore. On this side we have the original Sega Genesis, uh, PlayStation 1, and a PlayStation 2. And then there's my uh, Guitar Hero guitar. And in the middle, we got a dusty old PlayStation 3 and a subwoofer. And in the middle of all this, we have the 50-inch Plasma TV. If you, if you look closely, you can actually see that the TV is way too heavy for this, uh, this stand, and it kind of bent it. But the stand still works. I'm not going to change it. So under the PlayStation 3 games, I have my guitars that I don't play as often as I should. On the left side, I have the Eclipse 1000 Deluxe Edition. And apparently this one is a rare color. I remember one guy telling me that this color is pretty much like finding Bigfoot and never get rid of it. So I plan to keep this forever. And the guitar on the right behind the Jurassic World cutout is my Alexi 600. This one is my most favorite guitar of them all. So I used to have two of these guitars, one in black and then this white one but I didn't play both of them as much, so I sold the black one, and oh my god, the fisheye makes it look really weird. Okay, hang on a second. There we go, that's a lot better. It doesn't look as distorted anymore. So this guitar is actually Alexi Leho's signature guitar from Children of Bodom, and I actually have the band signature on the back of this. So there's the band signature on the back of it. I met them in Toronto a few years ago. Uh, so we got Alexi Leho, which is in the middle, and then we got Rope and uh, Henka. All right, back to the rest of the room. So this is the Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D display. Uh, perks of working overnight at Walmart is I get to actually uh, snag these before anybody else. And then we got the original Game Boy just chilling in there. Up here I have a few Nintendo 64 games with a few Game Boy games. Uh, not all of them, I think there's more in a bucket somewhere. Little 30th anniversary amiibo right here that I've never opened and I don't plan to. Up there I have the collector's edition of Looney Tunes Volume 1. I'm a big fan of old uh, cartoons. Down here I have a few Super Nintendo games. I got all the Donkey Kong games, uh, Mario games, and then a few miscellaneous ones like football, uh, golf, and all that stuff. PS3 and Nintendo 64 controllers with a Pikachu under it, Pikachu piggy bank, and here is Peanut. 
you guys don't know who Peanut is, uh, definitely look up Peanut. Here's a few pop figures. The only pop figure that's mine is Ghostface, and the rest are Christina. So she's got Belle, I think it's Hipster Belle, something like that, uh, Hot Topic Guy, and Peter Pan. And I kept the box for the Wii U bundle pack that I got with Mario Maker, because why not? This little area is where we usually keep some of the snacks, so you can see some cookies right there, and then in there is like a bunch of candy, and then under there is a bunch of candy. So that's our like, little snack pantry area. Up here are a few movie promo uh, cards that I uh, I got from work. And this poster we actually won in a contest. Uh, we got a few little Eminem guys and a Captain America shield because one of us is Captain America. I'm not going to tell you who. Uh, Toon Squad jersey. This one is Tasmanian Devil. We got the recliner couch with Kenny and Jack just chilling there. There's, there's Kenny. Hey, Kenny. And here's huge Guardians of the Galaxy poster that is actually missing Baby Groot. It doesn't have Baby Groot anywhere on there. If you find Baby Groot somewhere, let me know. I've been looking. He's not there. All right, that's everything that's behind the green screen. So now I'm going to show you what is in front of the green screen. This is the channel. This is where all the magic happens. This is where all the recordings are, live streams, editing, everything. So before I sit down, I better show you the uh, the chair that you guys see in the streams. Uh, here's the rest of it. So there's Toad at the bottom, and we got Mario, Luigi, and Bowser. And then at the bottom here, it says, Got Game. All right, so from the left side, we have the Mario Odyssey cutout that I got from work. This thing is five feet tall and only a portion of it would fit in this little corner because I didn't want to take down that uh, this banner up here. But the rest of it is is down here. So we got the Mario Odyssey cutout, uh, Motley Crue bandana, and an Aussie bandana with Thrasher right above it because I am a skateboarder. I've been skateboarding for 21 years. It's pretty much been my whole life. Up here I have all the board graphics from the company that I'm sponsored by. Uh, the company I'm supposed to buy is New Beginnings Skateboarding, and it's a local board distribution company based in Ottawa. Up here's a few things that I got in my P.O. box. So over here is my Coconut Piggy Bank from Hawaii. Uh, I named him Jables. His name is Jables, because JB, Jables, why not? Uh, and over here is my Pikachu hat. So this one was sent to me by Neo Destati, and this one was sent to me by James Becker. And we got the little, we got the little card that Neo uh, included there too. I put these two up here next to each other because it's funny how James and Neo always argue on the channel, but here they're chill, they're buddy buddy. Also on this side, I have a little comic that Cherry Meverse uh, sent me a long time ago, and it's like the story of uh, my donations, which is pretty funny. Uh, that time that I got the 1500 donation, and apparently it. It, it killed them. So over here I got my Skullcandy wireless headphones and uh, Mortal Kombat poster. Yeah, most of you like that shot right there. Oh, hello. Down here I got my Nintendo Switch and uh, oh, hello. Hello everybody, you can see me. Uh, my Wii U gamepad, PlayStation 4, uh, my Wii U and a few controllers and then up here is the famous beanie that I always wear on the channel. It has its own little resting place. Over here I have the webcam sitting next to a Diddy Kong and uh, just a little comic book right here, Venom vs. Uh, Wolverine. This is actually one of the, uh, the promo posters that I had all around Ottawa at one point uh, for MBS. So there's me just kind of, you know, defying gravity and flying in the air. This is actually my most favorite ad that I've ever had for uh, MBS. Got a Deadpool cutout to let me know that I'm doing a good job. Uh, my little stress ball. Some of you may have seen me take a bite out of his head before getting angry. There's a video on it. Not proud. Uh, pretty cool light up keyboard and my 32 inch LED TV that I play all the video games on. Well, speakers up there and oh hello hello mr. microphone my blue yeti microphone that shows right in front of my forehead all the time and uh, my weird little lighting system that I have I figured this would be a lot better than having one of those like box lights that uh, all the youtubers have or like the roto light um, this one like I can I can kind of like move this around like down here if I need it closer on the the left side of me and then same with the right side, and then this one just like covers everything, and then those two backlights are just there because why not? Right next to the TV is the 23 inch monitor. Uh, this is where I read chat, check the streams, uh, all that kind of stuff. Let me get a few games on this side. This is where my Wii U and uh, Wii games are, and then the Switch ones. 
You know, a little chain chomp guy there, runs around in circles. Under here is where I keep the PlayStation VR, a bunch of hard drives, the PSVR uh, stuff. And I think this one has, yeah, this one has like a bunch of wires and this one has a few controllers. I got my guitar amp there, my little door stopper pizza, a crybaby wall pedal, and this is my PC. So a lot has changed in the channel. This is what it looks like as of right now, November 2017. Here's a picture of what it looked like before. Very, very big difference. This is exactly what I see when I'm playing games, so... I'm playing a game, read chat. Playing a game, read chat. This is pretty much exactly what I see. This is nightmare vision right now. All right, that does it for the tour video. As you can see, a lot has changed in this little recording area because of all of you. Because I started out with just a computer monitor, uh, recording with a rock band microphone, and it was hanging on a coat hanger. It was just kind of balancing on coat hanger. As of right now, the channel has 3,410 subscribers, so I say that's pretty damn decent in one year. I mean, for a channel that's really not consistent with the content, that streams randomly whenever I feel and puts out videos very rarely now, I'm gonna set a goal right now. November 4th, 2018, 10,000 subscribers. 10K, that's what I'm gonna aim for. You guys can help with that. All you gotta do is just share the content, tell your friends about me, all that kind of stuff. I wanna thank every single one of you that have subscribed to the channel and sticking around through everything. This channel has been through a lot of stuff. If you've been here from the very start to right now, you know exactly the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. I also wanna give a big thank you to every single person that has donated to the channel. Because without you, none of this surrounding me would be here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you guys so much for being an awesome community. I am very proud of this community that we built. So thank you guys so much. This is JL Nightmare, and you'll see me in the next video. You know what hasn't changed on the channel? My intro and my outro. They've stayed the same. I need a new one. I don't know how to do intro and outro. Ah!